Working towards a goal such as the one arm pull up requires total dedication, but if you're anything like me, you have countless interests on top of your main goal, which always feel like they're going to get in the way. This is why you need to prioritize your fitness around your main goal, but you can have your cake and eat it too. Let me show you how. Welcome back everyone, and if you're new here, my name is Mike, and here we talk about the specific week by week breakdown of going through a training cycle. Today I'm going to tell you how I prioritize my fitness around my current goals. My current goal right now is I'm working through a six week one arm pull up training cycle, so let me show you how I fit all my other fitness routines around that. So besides doing these calisthenic type workouts like the one arm pull up, I also like to run, I like to climb, I like to do crossfit -y type stuff, I like to lift heavy, uh, I like to two step, I like to do like all these different things. And it can get hard, it can feel like everything's getting in the way and it feels like you have to start prioritizing and you maybe have to drop other things, but let me show you how I prioritize my workouts so that I can get in everything that I want along with fitting in the workouts that I need to do in order to hit my fitness goal. I follow a three step process for this. So let's get right into it with step one. First, you gotta plan out when you're gonna do your priority workouts. If I'm looking at a blank week ahead, I need to decide when I'm going to do my, what I call priority workouts. Priority workouts are essentially, what are the workouts that are actually going to move the needle towards your goal? So for me right now, these are the one arm pull up workouts that I am doing that are non-negotiable for this six week training cycle. I do two workouts a week for one arm pull up. So if I'm looking at a blank week, I'm going to make sure that I do those workouts with a couple of days in between. So typically I'll do my first workout on Monday. And then I also know that Fridays are pretty light days for me. So I'll usually go Monday, Friday, one arm pull up. These are non-negotiable. They're not moving. If there's anything that you get done in a week, make sure it's these priority workouts because like I said, they're gonna move the needle towards your goal. The second step I take is planning out supplemental workouts and or similar muscle groups. So I'm working towards a one arm pull up training cycle right now. The supplemental workouts here are really gonna be my climbing workouts. These I kind of start to scatter in a little bit. I will usually do it the day after I do my priority workout because it's going to be lighter. It's not gonna be as taxing on my body. I wouldn't wanna do it before my priority workout because then I'm gonna be tired for that priority. I'd rather do it afterwards so that my body has the most amount of energy and strength for that main workout. For these workouts, you really wanna keep it light. You don't wanna be destroying your central nervous system. So what I'll do right now is I'll just climb. So if I do my main workout on Friday, Saturday, I'll climb for you know maybe an hour or two and I'll keep it generally light. Like maybe I'll work a project a little bit, but I'm not going to go crazy with like fingerboarding or hard campus boarding or anything like that. I'm just gonna keep it to climbing. Another example that might be helpful is if you're working towards a running goal, like you're working on a half marathon training plan or something along those lines, Supplemental training might be something like going to the gym and lifting weights and doing some sort of squats or lunges, things like that. Those, again, you're not going to want to go super heavy. You're not going to want to rep out like two, three rep max. Uh, you're going to want to generally keep it on the lighter side and just kind of do some more aerobic strength conditioning. And finally, the last step is just filling in the gaps. Generally, what you want to do still is you want to keep things light unless you can fit in a workout that's 48 hours uh, in between priority workouts. So one of the things that I've been getting into over the past couple of months is Olympic lifting and CrossFit. I really, really love these workouts, particularly the Olympic lifts. I love these powerful movements and I also really like getting stronger in the general lifts like Ben press, squat, uh, and deadlift. The good thing about me doing my priority workouts on Monday and Friday is that means that I can do a heavy lifting session on Wednesday because that's two days in between both sides. So the way that I'll generally schedule it out is Monday will be a really hard priority day. Tuesday, I'll keep it light. I'll do some climbing. Maybe I'll do some cardio. Maybe I'll do a little bit of running. Wednesday, I'll do a heavy lifting session. Thursday, I'll generally keep it light again. Maybe I'll do some sort of conditioning. Maybe I'll just take the day off. And then Friday will be another hard pull-up day. Saturday, climbing. Sunday, I usually take off or I'll go for a run as well. So to sum it up really quickly, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to plan out your priority workouts. What do you need to do to get closer to your goal? Plan out those days, make sure you hit them. Nothing else matters. The second thing you're gonna do is any workout that you like to do that is going to be supplemental or complementary to your main goal, make sure to plan that as an easy variation 
generally the day after your priority workouts. Last but not least, fill in the gaps with any other thing that you like to do, whether it's running, lifting, dancing, anything that brings you joy. If it's going to be really hard, just make sure that you're doing it 48 hours in between your priority workouts. That's all I got for this week, guys. Next week, I'm gonna go through a review of how the first two weeks of my six week training cycle has been going. I've been feeling really good, actually. I did uh, my second workout of the second week today. It actually felt significantly better than I thought it was going to. So stay tuned for that. It, four more weeks of this training program. Uh, I'll do a wrap up at the very end and I'm going to be posting every single one of my workouts as shorts from now on. So be sure to subscribe if you're interested in that. And if you have any questions on prioritizing workouts or pull up workouts or anything of the sort, feel free to comment below, DM, you know the drill. Last but not least, if you're looking for a warm up to get started into your priority workout, especially if you are a climber or doing any sort of calisthenics, check out this warm up that I have. This is the warm up that I use for all my workouts. That's all I got. Have a good one, guys.